Top story this Tuesday afternoon. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has pledged to show remorse for Japan's behavior during World War II in a statement to mark the 70th anniversary of the conflict's end. Now, attention is being focused on to what level the Abe administration will reflect on Japan's past wrongdoings and take responsibility for its role in the war. Shin Myung Gil reports. Giving his first news conference of the year on Monday, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said he plans to express remorse in a fresh statement this year over Japan's actions during the war and its post-war history as a pacifist nation. Our cabinet will reflect on what we did wrong during the Second World War and on our progress as a peace-loving nation. We will gather our knowledge to bring about a new statement on how to contribute further to the Asia-Pacific region and the world. As Japan gears up to mark the 70th anniversary of the end of the war on August 15th, Prime Minister Abe said he had no intention of trying to reinterpret Japan's historical wrongdoings. We will continue to adopt the stance of previous cabinets with regards to the interpretation of history, including the Murayama statement. On the 50th anniversary of the war's end in August 1995, then Prime Minister Tomiichi Murayama said Japan caused tremendous damage and suffering to Asia through its colonial rule and aggression and expressed a heartfelt apology. There have been fears that Abe will come under pressure from right-wingers in Japan who would like the apology to be repealed. Korea and China will be paying close attention to whether Abe will uphold the Murayama statement. This year has been identified as a chance for Tokyo to rebuild its strained ties with Seoul and Beijing. Relations have been chilled by territorial disputes and Abe's distorted views of wartime history. Watchers say that if Abe sticks to his word and offers a sincere apology, it could present an opportunity for Korea, China and Japan to build stronger ties this year and create a more peaceful and forward-looking atmosphere in Northeast Asia. Jim Young-gyun, Arirang News.